Jeffrey Page recently visited. He did a week-long residency during which he choreographed and set a piece on 10 dancers. Some were majors, some were not majors. Most were not majors, but we had a wonderful time, a wonderful variety of strengths. And it was an experience unlike anything I've had before. I've become really enthralled with African-American vernacular style, American legacy. Uh, so I'm really interested in, in looking at how people walk and looking at how people talk and looking at, at, at you know, uh, at, at their innate, innate ways about them. I just went to get a haircut and here in Durham and it was... I had a great time, like you know, I you know I was dropped off, and it was it was a great. It was just me sitting there and just just really looking at the people and how they talk and how they walk and how they move and how the barber has this style of cutting your hair, and then after he's done, he says, "Yo, my man, you good? Is this looking all right?" The African American experience. Is, is something that just constantly spews out these things. We do it without thought of it becoming uh, anything great or beautiful. We just do it because, you know, it's in our style. And I think when we actually sit back and, and look at it from the perspective of an audience member looking at something godly and something gorgeous, uh, we see the big booties and the and the vivacious lips and the and the curvaceous structures and, and all of this all of this and that and yada 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 and this real beauty that exists there and so the piece uh, that I envision uh, myself creating is something that pays acknowledgement to that idea. So you're here. He worked very quickly. Um, he came in with nothing planned, put the music on, and started creating, and would just come up with this amazing movement and sequencing. <laughs> Ava asked me to do a, an African number, and I just picked James Brown. I, I don't know, I, you know. He was a product of the vernacular, the lowly, commonplace uh, life in America. I just got this haircut, and I'm looking in the mirror, and I'm like, man, I look good right now. And it reminds me of it reminds me of James Brown. It reminds me of his push to not only say to himself that he looks good, but to let everybody know that he looks good. And it's not about lessening anyone else's position. It's just about the inside of yourself being as strong as possible. I actually got the pleasure to work with him one-on-one -on -one. He choreographed the solo for me, and I had a two and a half hour intense one on one session with him. Um, but it was a great experience. It was really challenging, but um, it really gave me a taste of what is beyond the, the Duke world. And I think that was something that was really beautiful. And he's creating the work on the students. So, yeah, it's a germ of an idea, but here it is, our students are having like this, you know, first go at at work that's being produced on their bodies, you know, taking into consideration what their abilities are, um, and and what the, the inspiration which comes to him. I think mean, that's that's like a, that's an outrageous opportunity to be able to do.
Ich habe alles mal